the Assistant Vice President for Program Development of the Culinary Institute of Cagayan de Oro. And I have been connected with the Institute since it opened in the year 2010. So um, I was commissioned by Sir Carlo and Dr. Emeline to uh, actually yung culinary arts na conceived na nila nung time na yon, pero ginawa namin, inintegrate namin sa nutrition. That's the reason why you have a nutrition class today because um, we would like to equip our culinary students with, with more you know, that they can bring in the workplace like karamihan ngayon ng mga tao ay mga may sakit. There are many people who are sick and uh, the study of nutrition is very important if you are to become chefs so that you only do not, uh, you only get, you only not only get to prepare delicious and beauty, beautifully plated food in the same manner, pwede kayo mag-modify ng nutrients so you can feed people with varying um, disabilities and varying illnesses and that they will be able to enjoy food the way other normal and healthy people do. Kaya namin in-integrate ang nutrition. And this was in fact acknowledged by the TESDA as the first program in the country where nutrition is integrated in the culinary arts program. Tapos nun, na-conceive din yung uh, pastry arts also with nutrition. Kaya may dalawa tayong program. So which means that CIC next year will be turning 13 years in existence. We have survived COVID. Uh, times were very hard. In fact, ngayon hindi pa masyadong nagiging regular ang classes. But we can uh, foresee a better future for CIC. We have graduated several, several, several students. And they are now across the world. They are now employed across the world. Others have put up their own businesses. Marami kaming graduates na mga successful entrepreneurs na dyan sa Cagayan de Oro. Yung iba sa ibang mga cities within Visayas. Yung iba nagpuntang Luzon. Yung iba nagpuntang... Iba-ibang bansa. Okay. Um, I, for one, I am based here in Massachusetts, in Boston. And here, um, demands for chefs has been very, very high. Class kasi next year, na foresee ng America na 63% ng population nila will be aging. At ang karamihan ang nakikita kong mga kondisyon ng mga puti, tawag ko sa Amerikano puti. Uh, ang number one dito, marami din ditong diabetic, marami din ditong obese, napakarami. Maraming may dementia, maraming may hypertension, high blood cholesterol, all, requ all requiring nutritional modification. Kaya nga, mas naa-appreciate nilang i-hire o mas gusto nilang i-hire yung mga graduate ng culinary arts na may strong background ng nutrition. That's why you're very lucky to have enrolled in such a program. Kaya habang nandiyan kayo, take your, take your studies seriously. Kasi wala naman taong hindi kumakain. Lahat ng taong kumakain. So it's very important that you perfect your craft very well until you graduate. Importante yan. Okay. So today, we will divide our class into two parts. Okay, the first I'll be giving you all nothing but lecture. Magle-lecture muna ako about food science. Pagkatapos class, after that, magko-computation na tayo ng calories. Okay, tuturuan ko muna kayo, tapos ibibigay ko sa inyo ang buong hapon para i-accomplish yung sheet of paper na nga sa inyo where you will have to compute calories. Tapos may isa pa kayong sit work, magko-compute kayo ng cholesterol content using the two charts that you have. May FNRI kayo at saka meron kayong isa pang US form, no? 
Pero kahit FNI na lang, para Filipino ang version natin, pwede na yon. So, gagawa kayo ng 300 mg cholesterol diet for the entire day. Pero mamaya nyo pa isasubmit sa akin. 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Pati yung sit work nyo ng calories, 6 o'clock. Tapos may isa pa kayong sit work, incomplete protein combination, 6 o'clock din. Class, nakikita nyo, naka-flash ngayon ng email address ko, malukawdal at yahoo.com. That is where you are going to email your examination today at 6 o'clock. On or before 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Class, um, wag nyo nang gawing ano ha, kasi yung mga ibang studyante, ayoko masyadong marami akong email na natatanggap. Masyadong matrabaho din basahin. Isang email lang doon sa tatlo. So, pag nag-send kayo ng email, ang attachment ng email nyo, yung tatlong pinagagawa ko. Hindi yung kada attachment, isang email. So, dumadami yung laman ng inbox ko, dumadami yung binubuksan ko. Samantalang, pagka ginawa kong zip file yon, isang download ko lang, mabubuksan ko yung tatlo ng isang zip file. Mas madali sa akin, lalo na kung 20 kayo, madami din yon. So, sa isang email, isenyo na lahat ng sit work na pinagagawa ko today. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, let's start now. So, yes, na sir. I suppose you have copied already my email address. So let's continue. Let's start with food science. Okay. Now, what are the objectives of this particular module? So at the end of our um, lecture, number one, you will have to identify and be able to use the different nutrition tools that we use in planning meals for individuals. Number two, we will be able to differentiate the macro from the micronutrients. We will know the uses and the sources and the composition. And number three, most importantly, when we prepare food from washing to cooking, what are the techniques that we can use in order to maximize the nutrients that is retained in the food that you're cooking? Okay, so what is food? First, let us define food. Food can be solid or liquid. Kaya pag uminom kayo ng juice, Food din yun. Kaya lang, ang form niya kasi liquid. So, it's anything that enters your mouth that you that you uh, chew and you swallow. It goes down to your esophagus, down to your stomach for digestion. From the stomach, it goes to the small intestine so that the body will be able to assimilate. Pag sinabi assimilate, ibig sabihin absorb yung nutrients ng kinain mong pagkain. It will be distributed all throughout the body, so the entire body will receive nourishment. Now, food is made up of different chemical components. Ito yung tinatawag natin macronutrients at saka micronutrients. Okay. Yung macro, sabi ko kanina, it means big. Yung micro, ibig sabihin small. Now, in food science class, we will also understand ano ba yung mga nangyayaring pagbabago sa pagkain, whether it is in natural form o sa mga handling procedures natin, that can affect its nutritional value. And what can we do in order to preserve a great amount of the nutrients during washing, during slicing, and during cooking? It also refers to the, the different changes that food undergoes during preparation. Pag sinabi preparation class, kasama dun yung slicing, Washing at saka cooking. Okay, this is the food pyramid. Kilalang kilala nyo to class kasi ito ay all over the internet. The food pyramid was designed by the United States Depart Department of Agriculture in 1970. Ito yung counterpart natin ng Go, Grow, and Glow na pinag-aralan nyo ng elementary kayo. Ngayon, it is shaped like, like a pyramid para madali nating matandaan yung size o yung quantity. So, kung makikita nyo, ang pyramid kasi korting triangle. Yung bottom niya na pinakamalaki ang space na na-occupy is our allotment for breads, grains, and other starches. So, kasama dito ang kanin, kasama dito ang pasta, kasama ang corn, kasama ang bread. 
pati root crops kasama dyan. Ito ang pinakamarami natin pwede kainin. This, our, this is our primary source of energy. So it's about 6 to 11 servings per day, depending on your gender, if you're a boy or a girl, depending on your height, depending on your weight, and depending on your age. So we don't, we don't have the same requirements. Okay. Sa itaas nung, nung breads, nandun ang, ang, ang allocation natin for fruits and vegetables. Mas maliit. Mas maliit kasi pata, pataas yung pakipot yan eh. Mas maliit yung allotment tapos nagahati sila sa isang row. Kasi tig 3 to 4 servings per day lang sila. <coughs> so your fruits here, all fruits and all vegetables. Leafy and non-leafy. On top of the vegetables and fruits is shared by your proteins. Ito ang milk at saka mga karne at isda. Itlog. So on the left is the space for your milk. It's about one to two servings per day. <coughs> Sa right, yung allotment natin for meat, fish, chicken, eggs, cheese. Okay, ano yan? Three to five servings per day. And then yung pinakamataas sa lahat class ay ang allocation for fats and oils and sugars or sweets. Na kung makikita nyo na sa tuktok, ibig sabihin konting-konti lang ang pwede mo kainin. Hindi mo siya pwedeng gawing main course. So gumagamit ka lang ng fats for cooking uh, at saka sweets mo for your desserts but it cannot be as much as your allotment for your breads, for your grains, and other starches. So, kaya naisip ng United States Department of Agriculture na gawing korting pyramid para very visual, makikita mo what you can eat the most and what you can eat the least. <coughs> okay? Ngayon, mamaya, class, after the lecture, introduce ko sa inyo yung food exchange list that was designed dalawa kasi meron may food exchange list dito sa Amerika pero ang gusto ko ituro sa inyo ang ituturo ko sa inyo ay yung food exchange list that was designed by the Food and Nutrition Food and Nutrition Research Institute in Taguig na Filipino Filipino requirement ang ginagamit doon sa table na yon makikita nyo na I think it's on the next slide. Wait, pakita ko muna. Okay, ito yung, ito, yung, ito yung food exchange list. Hindi yata kay binigyan nito. So, bibigyan, ito, pwede nyo na copy yung gagamitin natin ito mamaya. Uh, in the food exchange list, we have several food forms. We have classification of food. We have vegetable A, vegetable B. We have fruits, milk, rice, meats, fat, and sugar. All of the items in the food exchange list means it's equivalent to one exchange. One exchange means one serving. And they have the corresponding carbohydrate in grams, protein in grams, and fat in grams. Papaliwana ko to sa inyo later. Pagka nandun na tayo sa calorie computation. Okay. So as you can see, ito yung ano natin, class, ito yung tatlong klaseng meats natin. High fat, medium fat at saka low fat. Low fat low fat meat has 41 calories per exchange. Medium fat has 86 calories per exchange and high fat has 122 calories per exchange. Example of one exchange of low fat meat is a slice of lean meat or four pieces of shrimp or one medium piece of galunggong. Sa medium fat class, nandiyan na yung itlog. One chicken egg or seven pieces of quail eggs. One chicken leg. Okay? Yung high fat, yun na yung cheese. Mataas ang cheese, ang mani, tsaka balut. For sugar, one exchange of sugar is 20 calories. It's equivalent to one teaspoon of sugar or two pieces of banana chips or one piece of candy. 
And one exchange of fat is 45 calories. That's one teaspoon of oil, one piece bacon, or one slice of half of an avocado. So we will deal with that later during computation. Okay. Na picture nyo na to, class? Yes, sir. Magagamitin natin yung mamaya. Okay, good. So, in nutrition class, hindi lang natin pag-aaralan ang macro at micro. Pag-aaralan din natin yung, yung dami ng kinakain ng tao at yung kalidad ng kinakain niya at kung paano ginagamit ng katawan natin ang lahat ng pagkain na kinain natin para tayo manatiling buhay. So, hindi lang yung ano ba yung kinain mo, hindi. Yung bang kinain mo is enough to make sure that you're going to live a, a, a sort of a chef, can, can excuse me, okay. Chef. Can I have, I think I'm not sure if I have a Can I take a picture? Thank you. Done? Yeah, done. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's continue. So that, um, hindi class pwedeng Walang single food na nakakapagbigay ng lahat ng nutrients. There's no such thing as that. Nutrients cannot be taken from just a single food. You have to eat everything in order for the body to receive all the nutrients that you need. Kasi may kanya-kanyang function ng mga nutrients na hindi kayang gawin ng ibang nutrients. There are nutrients that give us energy. There are nutrients that repair the body and build the body. And there are nutrients that regulate body processes. That is why hindi ka pwede ang kakain. Walang kanin, walang ulam, walang gulay, walang prutas. Kasi yung nutrients na nasa kanin, wala sa gulay. Meron man, hindi complete. That's why the plate must always have everything. It must have the carbohydrates, protein, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Because no single nutrient can do everything. Okay, so these are the five nutrients class. Our five nutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, which fall under the macro nutrients. Macro means big. Kaya sila tinawag na macro because we need them in large amounts. And vitamins and minerals are what we call the micro because we need them in smaller amounts. Okay, so the macronutrients class, like carbohydrates, fats, or lipids, and proteins, are our main source of energy. Sila yung dahilan kung ba't tayo nakakalakad, nakakaupo, nakakatayo, at saka bakit gumagalaw yung lahat ng laman loob natin. Sila yung, kumbaga sa kotse, sila yung gasolina. Kaya ang need natin sa kanila malaki. Kasi malaki masyado yung function nila. Ang measurement natin for the need for this is in grams. Yung micronutrients naman class are the vitamins and the minerals. Sila yung helper ng macro. They help the macro perform their functions. So in principle, they maintain good health. Pero ang pangangailangan natin sa micro is only in milligrams or micrograms. Ibig sabihin maliliit. That's why we call them macro, micro. Pero kahit maliliit class, it's important that they are always in the daily diet. Okay, let's start now with the macro. Number one under macro is carbohydrates. Class, ang carbohydrates ay isa sa pinakamalagang mahalagang macronutrient. Because basically, it is our major source of energy. Mapapansin nyo, nangihina kayo pag di kayo kumain ng kanin, di kayo kumain ng tinapay. These are all carbohydrates. Magugutom ka kung akakainin mo lang ulam. Although protein or your ulam is also a source of energy, but it does not provide as much energy as what we get from carbohydrates. Ito, ito kasi number one, carbohydrates. Ngayon, may dalawang klase ng carbohydrates. Two groups yan. Simple at saka complex. 
simple carbohydrates are sugars class. Under simple carbohydrates, lagay nyo dito ha. We have the monosaccharides. and disaccharides. Saccharides mean sugar. Monosaccharide means one sugar. Disaccharides means two sugars. So both monosaccharides and disaccharides are simple sugars. Plus sila yung madaling matunaw. Kaya pag sila ang kinain mo, Mamaya konti gutom ka na. But they also provide the same calories like candies and fruits and your cakes and your pastries. Yung complex carbohydrates, ito yung nasa kanin, nasa gulay, nasa mais, nasa pasta. Sila yung tinatawag na polysaccharides. Poly means many. It's made up of many sugars. Kaya sila matagal na tunaw. Kasi mad madami silang sugars bonded together. Kaya pag kumain kang kanin, it will take you at least 3 to 4 hours bago ka magutom. Compared pag kumain ka ng isang saging. Kasi ang saging ay disaccharide. So mas madaling matunaw. Okay? So these are your simple carbs. These are your complex carbs. Mas matagal silang tumatagal sa chan because they contain fibers. Simple carbs contain single monosaccharide or disaccharide, madaling matunaw. Under this, you have the mono and the disaccharide, matamis, at nakakapagpataas ng blood sugar agad. So diabe diabetics normally are restricted from eating too much of this. Complex is a polysaccharide, matagal matunaw, kasi madami siyang units ng monosaccharide, hindi matamis, at mas matagal niyang maitaas ang blood sugar level. Okay, the second group of uh, macronutrient are your fats and lipids. Nagbibigay din sila ng energy na kagaya ng carbohydrates. And they make up at least 34% of the energy found in the human body. Now, there are two major kinds of fats. The first are the triglycerides. Under trigly triglycerides are made up of fatty acids. At meron tayo generally dalawang group ng fatty acids. Actually, dalawa lang to. Saturated at saka unsaturated. Kaya lang, under unsaturated, we have polyunsaturated. Poly means many and monounsaturated. Okay, saturated fats class are known as the bad fats. Bad fats. Okay, bakit naman natin siya tinawag na bad? Kasi class, they are converted to cholesterol. So sila yung, yung kapag kinain mo at pumasok sa katawan mo, kinoconvert sila into cholesterol. Kaya ang nangyayari, tumataas ang iyong blood cholesterol levels. And the sources are mostly animal sources. So we have here, animal sources are butter. Sulat natin, ha? Animal to. Margarine class galing ito sa oil na sinolidify, plant ito. Meat is animal. Ano to? Karne ng ba uh, taba ng baboy, taba ng baka. Okay? Tsaka manok. Dairy products, gatas. Gatas, keso, cream, animal to. Egg yolks, animal. Coconut oil, plant. So most of the sources of saturated fats come from animal sources. Butter, fats in meat, lagay nga natin dito, and poultry. Okay. 
okay? Dairy products, egg yolk, and coconut oil. So these are bad fats. Okay. Your unsaturated fats. Okay. Okay, natin dito. Unsaturated fats. Okay. There are two kinds of Okay, there are two kinds of uh, unsaturated fats. We have the mono and the poly. Okay, this these are considered to be ko na nga to. These are considered to be good fats class because they do not raise blood cholesterol levels. Kumbaga Pag kinain mo sila sa katawan, hindi nagbabago yung level ng cholesterol. It remains the same. They're not convertible to cholesterol. Okay, so under unsaturated fats, dalawa yan, mono and poly. Good examples of fats that have high amounts of monounsaturated fats are canola and olive oil. And examples of fats that have high level of polyunsaturated are safflower and corn oil. Okay. The second kind of fats are cholesterol or is cholesterol. Cholesterol plus is manufactured by the liver. Many pe people get additional cholesterol by eating meat and dairy products. Too much dietary intake may raise blood cholesterol levels and lead to heart disease. Explain ko ha. So, literary, literary class, cholesterol is manufactured by the liver. So, ang, ang nagpo-produce ng cholesterol ay liver. Okay? Liver produces 70% of the cholesterol. of the cholesterol in the body. Okay. So, 70% ang pinuproduce ng atay natin. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, ang kulang mo na lang, 30%. Okay. Kaya, ang dapat mong intake, intake from food sources must only be 30%. Kasi may 70% ka na eh, na pinuproduce ng atay araw-araw. So, ang kakainin mo dapat, 30% lang. Or 300 milligrams per day. Papakita ko sa inyo kung gaano ka konti yung 300. Pero kung gusto natin, kaya. Kaya. Okay. Plus, ang sources lang ng cholesterol ay animal sources. Cholesterol. Ay, ano pa yan? Okay. Cholesterol class is important. Importante ito eh. Napakalaga. Okay. Bakit mahalaga ang cholesterol? Hindi na... Kasi tayo, pag sabing kolesterol, negative na tayo dyan, iniisip natin, ay, masama yung kolesterol, hindi. It is important because it is, it is needed by the liver to produce bile. Ano naman yung bile? Ang, ang atay natin, ang gumagawa ng bile, galing sa cholesterol, tapos itatago niya muna sa gallbladder. Gallbladder in Tagalog is abdo. Okay. Tapos tuwing 
kakain ka ng may taba, magbababa ang, ang abdo o ang gallbladder ng bile papunta sa small intestine para tunawin yung kinain nating taba. Otherwise, hindi matutunaw yung kinain nating taba. Okay. It is needed by the liver to produce bile, which is important for emulsification of fats. Sa Tagalog, para matunaw ang kinain nating taba. Okay. Bakit kailangan matunaw ang kinain nating taba? Sapagkat pag ang kinain nating taba ay natunaw, the body, so the body will be able to absorb and utilize ADEC. ADEC is vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, which we call fat-soluble vitamins. Kailangan nyo itong mga vitamin na ito. Ibig sabihin, kapag hindi natunaw ang kinain nating taba, tatawid lang yan sa katawan, tas lalabas yan. Idudumi mo yan. So, ang mangyayari, hindi lang yung taba ang dinumi mo, pati yung adek, ilalabas mo. Hindi na siya papasok sa katawan. Hindi na siya maa-absorb ng katawan. And these four vitamins are very important. These are macronutrients. So, magkakangon ka ng deficiency ng A, B, E, K. And this can make you sick. That's why you need cholesterol. Number one yan. Number two, cholesterol is important for the production of sex hormones. Self-explanatory na yan. You know the importance of sex hormones. Hindi tayo dadami, hindi kayo magkakaanak, hindi wala kayo dito sa mundo kung wala yan. So, ibig sabihin ng class, cholesterol is not all bad. We need cholesterol. Ang problema lang, class, ito. Ito problema. Since the liver produces 70% of the cholesterol needs of the body, yung, yung, yung kailangan kumain ka ng 30% or 300 milligrams per day, dun tayo parang nahihirapan. Okay. So, ngayon, Explain ko yun sa inyo mamaya. I will explain that to you later. Dito muna tayo. I explained to you earlier the two kinds of triglycerides. Meron tayong tinatawag na saturated fats at saka unsaturated fats. Okay. I, I told you earlier that saturated fats are good fats because they do not raise blood cholesterol levels. At sinabi ko rin sa inyo, na yung unsaturated fats are bad, I'm sorry, saturated fats are bad fats and unsaturated fats are good fats. Saturated fats raise blood cholesterol, unsaturated fats do not raise blood cholesterol. Okay. Yung saturated fats natin, karamihan doon, galing sa animals. Ang plant sources lang natin generally ay coconut oil at margarine. Itong unsaturated fats natin, nanggagaling yan sa vegetable oils except coconut oil. Tapos class, huwag nyo kakalimutan pati fish. Good sources yan ng unsaturated fat. Ngayon, um, meron tayong dalawang klase ng cholesterol sa katawan natin. Meron tayong tinatawag na good cholesterol, which we call the high-density lipoproteins or the HDL, at saka bad cholesterol or the low-density lipoproteins, or the LDL. Okay. Kailan tumataas ang good cholesterol mo? O kailan tumataas ang iyong HDL? Okay. Tumataas yan, class, kapag marami kang kinain na unsaturated fat. Okay. Yung unsaturated fat, class, kapag kinain mo yon, yung dugo mo hindi nagsosolidify. Yung dugo mo na yeah. nang... Yes. Yes, uh, Chef. May question na ako, Chef. Yung okay. one uh, virgin coconut oil, is that uh, saturated then? 
it is saturated, kaya lang medium chain triglyceride siya. Ibig sabihin nun, mas madali siyang natutunan. But it is still coconut oil. It is still palm oil. Okay. Sige. Thank you, Chef. Okay. Yung high-density lipoprotein or HDL, ito yung good cholesterol, tumataas ito kapag ka mataas ang consumption mo ng good fat or yung unsaturated, mono or poly. Pinananatili niyang liquid ang dugo mo para nakakadaloy siya ng madali. Walang naiiwang taba dun sa loob ng ugat. Samantalang yung low-density lipoprotein, tumataas yan kapag ka mataas ang consumption mo ng saturated fat o yung taba ng baboy, taba ng baka, balat ng manok, full cream milk or whole milk, pula ng itlog. These are the, the sources of your saturated fat or butter. Okay? Ang nangyayari class, uh, because they're converted to cholesterol, yung dugo mo nagiging thick, lumalapot. Tapos bumabagal yung daan. Pagdaan niya sa ugat, mabagal. Malapot kasi mataas yung fat. Tapos yung ibang fat no, naiiwan dun sa loob ng ugat hanggang sa magkaroon ka ng cholesterol plaque. Kapag nagsara yan, it can cause heart attack or stroke. Okay, look at this. Ito yung dinadaanan ng dugo natin. Or this is what you call the artery. Kapag ka good ang cholesterol mo, sabihin mataas ang consumption mo ng unsaturated fat, Malu maluwag na nakakadaan yung, yung dugo natin. Kasi liquid siya. Pero, over the years na mataas ang consumption mo ng bad fat, o itinatawag na saturated fat, makikita nyo class, nagkakaroon ng deposit dun sa paligid ng artery hanggang sa kumapal na yung deposit na yan, hanggang sa lumiit na yung daanan ng dugo. So, this can cause heart attack or stroke. O pwede pang magputok yung ugat sa ulo, aneurysm. Hemorrhage. Yan yung sinasabi ko. Ito yung arteries natin. Ito yung ugat na dinadaanan ng dugo. Itong dilaw na to, yung na-deposit na taba. This is because of consuming too much of the saturated fat. Ito yan. Tapos, pwede niyang barahan yung ugat. Pwede niyang barahan yung ugat na yun. Okay. Meron kayo nito, class? Wala. Do you this? Meron, Chef. Okay. Bukod dito sa PowerPoint ko, may hard copy kayo, ha? Meron? Okay, good. Ngayon, hawak niyo ba yung, yung papel? Pero hindi niyo pa gagawin ngayon, ha? Tinatanong ko lang, hawak niyo ba yung papel ng yung may cholesterol computation? Hawak niyo ngayon. Tingnan niyo nga kung hawak niyo. Yes, Chef. Okay. Class, hindi niyo pa susulatan, ha? Hindi niyo pa susulatan yan. Pwedeng kopyahin niyo lang muna itong gagawin ko. Tapos mamaya niyo gagawin, ha? Mamaya niyo gagawin. Okay, Chef. Thank you. Okay. Sala. Mali. Mali. Okay. Uh, sit work nyo to mamaya. Mamaya nyo pa to gagawin pagkatapos natin. Okay? Hindi nyo pa to gagawin ngayon. So, gagawa kayo ng six meals, pero sisiguraduhin nyo na hindi kayo lalampas sa 300 mg cholesterol. So, gagawa kayo ng breakfast lunch, dinner, morning snack, afternoon snack, at saka bedtime. Ang kukumputin lang class dito, cholesterol. Wala tayo ibang kukumputin, cholesterol lang class. Yun lang kukumputin natin. 
Uwin natin lahat itin para madali. Okay. So, ito yung gagawin nyo. Okay. Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, walang kolesterol ang mga halaman. Ang pinanggagalingan lang ng kolesterol class ay mga hayop. So, ang ilalagay muna natin sa menu natin, yung wala tayong kukomputin. And these are plant sources. Okay? Simulan natin. Lagyan muna natin ng kanin. Saan nyo ba gusto magkanin? Gusto nyo ba magkanin sa sa ano, sa breakfast, last? Yes, chef. Yes, Lunch. morning. Lunch ano? ako, chef. Ay, hindi, sample lang muna ginagawa natin, chef. Oh. Eh. Kayo ang gagawa ng inyo mamaya. Okay, magkanin tayo ng breakfast. One cup fried rice. Okay lang, class, kasi ang fried rice, kanin, galing sa halaman yon mantika, walang kolesterol, galing din sa halaman yon Tapos, uh, bawang, kung gusto nyo lagyan ng bawang, galing sa halaman, wala tayong kolesterol dyan. Okay, rice din tayo sa lunch. One cup rice. Bala kayo kung gusto nyo yung two cups. Wala namang kolesterol yan eh. Okay, morning snack. Gusto nyo ng puto? Hindi pwede cake kasi ang cake may itlog. Pwedeng kakanin, pwedeng biko, pwedeng puto, pwedeng suman, pwedeng kutsinta na may nyog. Pwede ha? So, lagay natin puto at kutsinta with nyog. Nyog. Pwede yan. Kasi lahat yan galing sa halaman. Wala tayong kukumpitin dyan. Okay? Tapos, PM snack ko, gusto ko ng bread. Two pieces loaf bread. Okay. Tapos, midnight, ano gusto nyo yung bedtime? Hindi pwede cookies kasi meron yung ah, uh, meron yung ano, butter, tsaka meron yung eggs. So, hindi pwede cookies. Yung pancake, chef, may cholesterol ba? Meron, kasi ang pancake may butter. Tsaka okay. may itlog. Okay, okay, thank you, chef. So, ang gusto kong bedtime snack ko, sky flakes. Kasi ang sky flakes ay crackers. Wala yung ano, wala yung itlog, wala yung butter. Okay. Ngayon, mamaya na yung ulam ha. Sa huli na yung ulam. Okay, anong gusto nyo yung fruit ng breakfast? Para balance. Kailangan balance diet ha. Mango. Ha? Mangga? Okay, one slice ripe mango. O, sa lunch, anong gusto nyo? Watermelon. One slice watermelon. Dinner. Apple. One apple. O, oh, mag-juice tayo ng ano, ng AM snack. Anong juice ang gusto nyo? Orange juice. Okay, one glass orange juice. <coughs> PM. Cucumber juice. Ay, social ka ha? Healthy ka ha? Juice. Okay. Ang gusto ko ipala... Mamaya, mamaya ako mag-iisip ng palaman ko sa tinapay kasi pag meron pa tayong afford na protein na may cholesterol, tingnan natin, ha? Okay. So, meron na akong rice, meron na akong mango, may watermelon. Okay. Gulay. Pwede kayo maglagay na ng gulay. Basta walang karne ang gulay nyo. Okay. Ano kaya ang gusto nyong gulay ng lunch? Pinakbet. Wala. Pero ang pinakbet, Walang hipon, ha? Walang hipon. Walang baboy. Plain ano lang, chef? Plain uh, veg Baboon. veggies lang. Oo. Igigisa mo lang yung gulay mo. 
Sa... Walang, ay, walang bagoong. Hindi, oh, walang bagoong. Hindi pwede bagoong. Ibang gulay oh. na lang. Kasi ang oh. bagoong galing sa hayop eh. Ano yan eh? O, anong gulay gusto nyo? Steam. Spinach. Adobong kangkong, masarap. Huwag na kayo mag-imported. Local lang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Filipino pala yun. Okay. <laughs> ne, one cup adobong kangkong. Masarap kaya yan. Ako, miss na miss ko na yung kangkong. O, ano pa? Sa dinner, anong gusto nyo? Kalamunggay, chef. Sinabaw. Gusto niya ng ginisang munggo? Pwede. Ayaw niya ng ginisang munggo? Grabe naman. Pwede rin. Pwede sa rin, chef. chef. Sakit yun. Sakit sa tuhod. Sakit eh, ba sa tuhod, chef? chef? Ginisang munggo. Andesalan na. <laughs> Yung ginisang munggo, walang baboy, walang, walang tinapa, walang hipon. Gigisa mo lang siya sa sibuyas, bawang kamatis, tas munggo na. With ampalaya. Ampalaya leaves. Oh, lamika ayo yan, ha? Eh? Okay. So, ang almusal mo, ah, pwede ka maglagay ng coffee kung gusto mo. Coffee. Lagay natin dito. Para maganda. Gusto ko maganda yung menu, ha? One, cu- one cup coffee with, pwede ang coffee mate ha? kasi ang coffee mate, non-dairy hindi pwede gatas ha? non-dairy creamer and sugar pwede yan so hindi pwede ang milk kasi ang milk, may cholesterol yan ito yung coffee mate okay, so meron ka ng kape meron ka manggang ilog meron ka ang fried rice doon na tayo sa ulam 300 milligrams total per day. Okay. Ano ang gusto nyo ulam sa sinangag nyo sa almusal? Itlog siya. Taas ang itlog. Huwag ka na mangarap. Huwag ka na muna mangarap. Bulad, chef. Bulad? Okay. Tingnan natin bulad, ha? Asa mo ko? Bulad. Dried fish. Pusit, ma'am. Nataas ang pusit. Ang taas ang pusit. Dried fish? 56. Oh. Dried fish, pwede ka na lang muna mag-fish. Ayan, dilis. Gusto nyo? Yes, chef. Dilis. Ah, sige, chef. Dilis. Plus, lahat ng, lahat ng sukat nito, 100 grams, ha? 100 grams ito lahat. Lahat. Okay, so, 100 grams na... Dilis. Dilis. Okay. Lalagay natin dito. 100 grams fried dilis. Doon mo naman siya ipiprito sa mantika galing sa vegetable, di ba? Kaya walang yep. problema. 100 grams is 19. 19.0. So, isu- okay. Susulat nyo na dito 19. So may 19 na tayo. Gusto, gusto nyo ng kamatis? Yes, chef. Pwede rin, chef. With sliced tomato. O gusto nyo and on, onion? Oh. With suka, chef. And uh, with sliced tomato, onion. With suka, chef. And vinegar. Oh. Oh, masarap na yan, ha? Masarap yes, na yan. Chef. Sarap oh. kayo. Kaayo. Hmm. <laughs> Ito, 90 na ang nagamit nyo. Ang total nyo. Sa breakfast. 300 ang total nyo. Tandaan nyo, 300, ha? Okay, okay, lunch natin. Watermelon, adobong kangkong. O, ano magandang terno ng adobong kangkong? Pili na kayo dyan. Nag-isda ka na, pwede ka na magbaboy, baka o manok. Pili kayo. Chinese ham, chef. Hala, kita yung lubay na adobong kangkong? Di ba ang gulay nyo, adobong kangkong? Ay, adobong kangkong. Ay, yung bangos. Ay, no, dahil. Fried Kaya bangos, lang, chef. Fried bangos. Kaya lang, ano, is 51.8. Lagi, 51.8 man, chef. Okay lang. 300 yung allowance nyo. Ah, okay. Huwag naman kayo magpakamatay. Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, lean chicken, chef. Lean chicken. Okay, ayun, no? 
62.9. O, oh, teka ha. Tingnan muna natin ha. 100 grams lean chicken. Ilan nga? 62.9? Yes, chef. Ano luto sa chicken? Fried. Fried. Fried pa rin. Adobo, chef. Eh, adobo. Tapos adobo, ano ba yan? Adobo na yung kangkong. <laughs> Fried chicken na. Ito yung inasal? Ah, pwede rin. Inasal. Diba? Oo. Ayan. Chicken inasal, ha? Iyan na yung total natin. 19 plus 62.9. Okay. So, may manok ka na. Meron ka ng dilis. O, ano naman ang iyong dinner? Ang gulay mo, munggo with ampalaya. Munggo with ampalaya. Dinner. Atay ng baboy, chef. Diyos ko, ang hilig mong magpakamatay talaga. 190, <laughs> wala ka na makakain. 190 yung atay, o. Oh. Lapo-lapo, chef. Titong lapo-lapo. O, oh, ayun, 4.4. Isda na naman. Clumps, Ayun, chef. Baboy, ha? Clumps, chef. Clumps. Sinabaw. Ayun yun. O, oh, sige, maglagay tayong clumps. Dagdag oh, natin, ha? Pinabaw. Clumps ay 20.9. Okay. Yes, chef. One cup inolang clumps. Ilan nga? 20.9. O, oh, yung ulam nyo. Sabaw lang yan eh. Sabaw lang yan. Wala pa kayong ulam. Gusto ko sosyal. Wala, uy, pwede naman siya na sa mo, chef. Ipon, <laughs> chef. O. Oh. Gusto niyo adobong baboy. Ayan, o. Oh. Uh, lean uy, pork. Uy, katerno kaya ng munggo ang adobong baboy. Lean Ayan, pork. Oh. Okay, 68.8. Okay. 100 grams Adobong lean pork. Adobo na naman. O, oh, ayun niya, adobo. O, oh, sige. Uh, <laughs> ano luto ng baboy? Ito, maarte. Ano Grill. Ba? Chef, pork chop. Ah, pork chop din, pwede. Ito, pork chop, lean pork. Anong gusto niyo? Fried na naman. Lean uh, pork. Grilled. 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 Ha? Grilled? Grilled. Lean pork, chef. <laughs> Walang lipo, ayoko ng lipo. Mahirapan ako mag-compute dyan. Itong katso, chef. Itong katso. Katso, eh? katso doon. Katso doon? Sige, pwede. 68.8. Tapos i-close parenthesis natin yung lipo. Pangka price. O, total nyo na nga kung ilan, pero malayo pa yan. 171.6, Chef. O, sige. Gusto natin dito ng sa gabi, 200 grams ng fresh milk. Yes, fresh milk. Kasama ng Sky Flakes. Ang fresh milk, ito o, oh, 6.5, eh, dalawa, 13. Okay. Okay. O, oh, ilan na? Total nyo? 184.6, Chef. Okay. Pwede ako mag-cheese. Para sa doon sa tinapay ko, 33.8. 33.8. The PM snack. Salad na. O, oh, ilan na? 218.4, Chef. Okay. Oh, gusto nyo pang dagdagan yung ano, yung ulam nyo. Gusto nyo yung chicken inasal, gawin natin 200 grams. Kasi half cup lang yan. Baka hindi pa yung magkasya sa lalamunan nyo. <laughs> Bit din. Multiply nyo nga ang ano, 62.9 times 2. One twenty-five point eight, 
Yes, Chef. Ah, uh, total. Ilan na? Ha? Ilan na? Tagal naman yung mag-add. Three hundred forty-four point two. Ay sobra. Edi eh, malika yung kanina. Yung chicken natin sixty-two point nine. Tapik lang sumobra ng ganon. Nineteen plus two eighty-one lang siya. O is ano hindi na pwede kasi ano klas eh three hundred lang eh. Tika. 281.3, Chef. Ang gilis, 19, di ba? Ang inasal, 62.9. Ang tinola, 20.9. Ang baboy, 68.8. Ang keso, 33.8. Ang fresh milk, 13. Oh, eh ba't sumobra yung manok kanina? Tama, 281. Pwede yung manok, 200 grams. Oh. total natin ilan? 281.3 okay, okay na yan. Pwede nyo sa gabi ng 300 pero pwede na yan 281.3. Gagawin nyo ito mamaya. Miss, meron kayong sheet of paper. Meron. May sheet of paper kayo dyan. So you take a picture of this. This is what you're going to do later. Ito yung ano nyo, number one assignment. Chef, okay. pwede bang written yan, Chef? Ah, ayaw mo dun sa form na binigay ko? Eh, pwede lang po. Pwede naman. Pwede, pwede naman. Tapos picturean lang po namin, Chef. Pwede lang ba? Mm -mm. Ah, kasi wala kang printer. Opo. O sige, pwede. Thank pwede. you po, Chef. O, clear na to, ha? Wala nang problema dito, ha? Okay na, ha? Plus? Okay na, Chef. Thank okay, you, okay, Chef. Pagandahan ng ulam, ha? <laughs> okay. So, ang fats natin, gaya na sinabi ko kanina, may saturated, may vegetable sources, kagaya ng coconut oil, palm oil, yung mga 3-in-1, Ang creamer class, wala. Uh, ang creamer na to, milk creamer to. Pero yung soybeans, wala yan. Okay? Yeah, coconut milk, meron yan. Animal fat. Yes? Sir, chef. Yes? Yung, ano, chef, yung, uh, yung mga instant coffee, chef, magkano ba yung ano niyan, chef? Meron yan. Meron saturated fat yan. Yung mga 3-in-1. Meron yan. Kaya hindi natin nire-recommend ng 3-in-1. Pero brewed coffee, chef, wala. Ah, hindi. Okay yung brewed coffee. Okay yun. Ah, okay. Thank you, chef. Tapos non-dairy non creamer. Okay. Thank okay. you, chef. So, all animal fats are saturated. Ang polyunsaturated natin ay oils, monounsaturated oils. Yan. Tapos fish, monounsaturated. Ano yan? Uh, unsaturated. Cold water fish, unsaturated. Okay. Tapos may mga trans fat tayo. Ito yung kagaya ng margarine. Uh, yung mga ginagamit natin na hydrogenated fats sa fast food, sa cakes and pastries, sa chocolates, at saka sa mga deep fried food. 
Okay. So, mas healthy ang butter kesa sa margarine class, although ang butter ay saturated. Ang margarine class kasi galing sa plant, pero dumaan ito sa isang proseso ng hydrogenation. Kaya in principle, nagiging saturated fat na rin siya. Mas healthy ang butter kasi ang butter natural. Ito kasi, ginawa lang ito ng tao. Okay, example of margarine is dairy cream. Margarine yan. Example of butter is angkor. <clears throat> mas mahal siya pero mas healthy. Okay, ito yung mga pagkain na mayaman sa saturated fat. Alam niya na yan. Produkto ng gatas, matatabang karne, coconut oil, chocolate, chocolate candies. Pwede lang yung dark chocolate ha. Ito yung kasi nilagay na ito ng gatas eh. And gatas galing sa animal sources. Polyunsaturated plus kasama ang isda. Vegetable oil, salad dressings. Okay. Ito, kopyahin nyo class. These are the two kinds of essential fatty acids. Kailangan natin silang kainin kasi hindi sila may na-manufacture ng katawan. Under this, we have linoleic acid which we find in vegetable oils, oils like corn oil, safflower, soybean, cottonseed, and poultry fats. Linolenic acid are found in oils like flaxseed, canola, walnut, wheat germ, soybean, nuts and seeds, butternuts, walnuts, soybean kernels, vegetables like soybean. So kasi mayaman din sa linolenic acid ang taho, ang tokwa, ang tofu. It's also found in human milk, shellfish, and fish. Tandaan nyo ha, EFA ang tawag sa kanila or essential fatty acids. Kailangan natin sila kainin because they are not manufactured by the body. Okay, now we go to the last macronutrient. The last macronutrient class are your proteins. Mahalaga ang proteins class kasi sila ang dahilan kung ba't tayo tumatangkad, kung malaki. Sila ang nag nag uh, nagbi-build ng katawan natin. Sila rin ang dahilan kung bakit gumagaling ang ating mga sugat kapag tayo nasusugatan at sila rin ang dahilan kung bakit tayo may immunity from illness. So sila yung nagpapatibay ng immune system natin. Hindi yan kayang gawin ng carbohydrates and fat. But proteins also give us energy like carbohydrates and fats. Okay. Class, may dalawang klase tayo ng protina. Meron tayong tinatawag na complete at saka incomplete. Okay? Yung incomplete class ay mga protina na nanggagaling sa mga halaman. Like vegetables, beans, legumes, and grains. Incomplete, ibig sabihin sila yung mahinang klase ng protein kasi hindi kompleto yung protein niya. Hindi kompleto yung kanyang essential amino acids. So, ibig sabihin, dahil hindi kompleto, hindi niya ma-perform to the fullest ang function ng protein. Yun namang protein na, ayun ang gagaling sa halaman, as I told you earlier, are lower in quality, kaya nga tinawag na incomplete. Pero meron tayong ginagawa para sila ma-complete. No? Meron tayong tinatawag na incomplete protein combination, which I shall teach you in a while. Yung complete naman, ito yung lahat ng essential at saka non-essential. So, lahat ng types ng protein, kompleto sa kanya. At ito, class, ang mga proteina na nanggagaling sa hayop. Gaya ng manok, puti ng itlog, isda, karne, shellfish, gatas, keso. They are all complete. So, the pepper form ng protein ang kanyang function to the fullest. Okay, so these are examples of complete eggs, turkey, chicken breast, prawns, tuna, salmon, pork chop, beef, duck, cheese, yogurt, milk. Complete lahat yan. Example ng incomplete, yung chickpeas, oats, tofu, lentils, quinoa, brown rice, cashew, peanut butter, almonds, edamame seeds, broccoli, avocado. So, ito yung weaker. Ito yung stronger. Okay. Gaya na sinabi ko, yung complete protein, kompleto lahat ng protein sa kanya, 
na lahat ng amino acids na sa tamang dami, kompleto, at yung incomplete naman, kulang ng isa, dalawa, o tatlo. Kaya nga, meron tayong tinatawag na incomplete protein combination. Para ito sa mga vegetarians o mga vegan o mga tao na hindi kumakain ng animals. Okay? So they must also receive the complete amount of protein in food. So ang nangyayari, magkocombine ka ng dalawang halaman para yung kulang dun sa isa, makikita mo dun sa isa. They complement each other. For example, grain and legume. That's number one. Number two are grains and nuts. Number three are legumes and nuts. So, alimbawa, ang grain, mababa siya sa protein na lysine, threonine, and tryptophan. Okay? Hahanap ka ng kapartner niya na mataas naman sa kanya. So, kung ano yung mababa, eh, pwede mo combine ang grain at seeds, pwede mo combine ang legumes and vegetables, you combine two together, yung kulang sa isa, isusupply ng isa. Okay. Meron tayong combination na gagawin. Gagawin nating ano ha? Okay. So, ang first natin na combination, grains and legumes. Ang number two natin, Pangalawa natin, grains and nuts or seeds. Pangatlo natin, legumes and grains, ah, legumes and nuts or seeds. So, yun yung tatlo, ha? Okay. Example ng grains. Rice. Bread. Pasta. Noodles. Ah, yan ang mga example natin ng grains. Ha? Corn. Grains yan. Example natin ng legumes. Beans, um, nuts or seeds, soy. So, anayin natin ha, para mas specific. Green beans, sitaw, chicharo, um, Garbanzos. Soybeans. Tokwa. Tako. Tofu. Sample yan, ha? Okay. Grains. Alam nyo na yan. Nuts. Peanuts, walnuts, cashew, pine, 
pecans, marami pa, ha? Pistachio, etc. Seeds. Ano ba alam niyong seeds? Sesame seeds. Uh, chia. So, ano pa ba yung alam niyong seeds? Yung common na alam ninyo. Uh, squash. Watermelon. O, puro seeds yan, ha? Okay. Legumes and nuts. So, gagawa kayo class ng kombinasyon ng tatlo. So, grains and legumes, grains and nuts, legumes and nuts. Ang gagawin ninyo class, gagawa kayo ng isang soup. From the three combinations. Ha? Ito yung number two seat work nyo. Gagawa kayo ng isang soup. Gagawa kayo ng, ng entree. Ano yung entree? Main course. Tapos gagawa kayo ng dessert. Alin man sa tatlong yan ang gusto nyo gawin. Okay. Ang naisip kong, bibigyan ko example ha. Ang naisip kong dessert, yung number three. Sulat ko na lang. Legumes and nuts or seeds. Okay? Ang naisip kong main ko ay grains and legumes. At ang naisip kong soup ay grains and nuts or seeds. Hindi ka pwedeng gumamit ng animal class ha kasi vegetarian to. So, hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng animal. Okay. So, ang gagawin ko na soup ay number two. Ito. Soup ko. Grains and nuts or seeds. Ito. So, ito yung soup ko ha. Okay. Ito, buto to, ha? Akala, akala nyo yung pakon mismo, ha? Okay. So, I want cream. Kasi grain, eh. Grain. So, kailangan may grain ako. I grain na i-combine ko sa nuts or seeds or ha or excuse me yes ah uh, para sa soup lang ni siya chef oo ang gagawin niyo pipili kayo dito sa tatlo kung ano yung gusto niyo gawing soup ako pinili kong soup ko grain and nuts ah so isa Tapos, lang yung piliin namin sa tatlo oo para sa soup para sa soup Uh -oh, Tapos okay. gagawa pa ako ng main course ko. Doon uh -oh, naman okay. sa isang kombinasyon. Tapos gagawa pa akong dessert ko. So, ang ipipresent nyo sa akin, soup, main course, at saka dessert. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Bawat isa, isang kombinasyon. Okay? So, ang napili kong soup ay number two, grains and nuts. So, ang grain ko, corn. Cream of corn soup. Ay, hindi pala. Ito na pwedeng cream. Corn soup. Kasi walang gatas. Corn soup with cashew. Toasted cashew nuts. Okay. So, ito ngayon, grain, yung corn, and nuts. Nuts or seeds. So, nuts ang napili ko. So, ang soup ko, corn soup, with toasted cashew nuts and malunggay. Ang malunggay hindi kasama sa listahan. Nilagay ko lang. Pwede yon. And malunggay leaves. So, yun ang soup ko. Okay? So, doon naman ako sa main course ko. Main course ko ay grain at legume. Okay. 
So, ang gusto ko ay fried rice. Okay lang ang fried rice ko. Ang gagamitin ko, mantika at saka bawang. Okay, fried rice and gusto ko ng sauteed green beans with crispy tofu. Okay? So, ang, ka, ang, ang main course ko, ang, may kanin ako, tapos meron akong ginisang bagyo beans na merong piniritong tokwa. Ito. Yan ang main course ko. So, lalagyan ko ha. Entree. Itong entree ko. Ito. Ito ang aking soup. Tapos, ito ang aking dessert. Ang dessert ko class ay legumes and nuts. Legumes ay mga buto. Mga buto yan, ha? Ay, nakalimutan ko ilagay dito ang munggo. Kasama ang munggo dito. Okay. Okay. So, ang dessert ko class, uh, legume. Legume, legume, legume. Okay. Ito, favorite ko ito eh. Sweetened garbanzos. Pinatamis na garbanzos. Nakakabili nito, nakabote na. With sesame seeds. Toasted. Black. Toasted black sesame seeds. Ang gagrade ko dyan ito. Ito. Yan. Okay. Class, hindi nyo na isusulat itong grains and legumes. Itong mga menu lang ang gagawin nyo ito. Ang tray nyo, Ilalagay nyo lang. Ganto lang gagawin nyo, ha? Teka. Para hindi kayo nalito, ha? So, ang entree ko ay grains and legumes. Ang soup ko ay grains and nuts. Hindi nyo na sa akin sasabihin kung alin dyan ang grain, kung alin na nuts, alam ko na yan. Ang dessert ay legumes and nuts. So, ito class, hindi ko na kailangan makita. Ito. Ito lang ang dapat ko makita. Ay, ano ba yung... Um, clarification lang, Chef. Okay. Doon sa ano, Chef, sa first and second table, Chef, uh, doon kami pipili kung, kung ano yung ilalagay namin. So, kami na bala kung paano namin i -ano, iluto. Oo, class. Hindi ako makikialam kung ano yung gusto nyong ano. Gusto nyong... Hindi ako makikialam kung ano yung gusto nyong soup. Kung ang gusto nyong soup ay grain and legume. Kung gusto nyong soup ay legume and nuts. Wala akong pakialam. Ah, ah, sige, ako basta, doon siya, basta doon siya makita sa ano, chef. Kuku doon namin kukunin sa second, ano, sa second table. Oo, yung kombinasyon. Ah, okay, Yun lang chef. kailangan ko, yung kombinasyon. Basta okay, kompleto, ha? Kagaya nito, kompleto. Oh, kompleto. Okay, Thank you. Meron kang an entree, meron kang soup. Basta ano, ha? Kuha doon sa tatlo. Yes, Bala chef. kayo kung paano nyo gagawin. Basta maganda, hindi naman nakakasuka at hindi naman yung parang out of this world. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Okay, imagine niyo rin na masarap naman siya. Okay? Uh, ito, wala akong binigay na papel para dito. Kayo na lang ang magsusulat. 
Basta gusto ko lang makita ko ano yon Antray ba yun? Soup ba yun? A dessert? Anong kombinasyon ang ginamit nyo? Tapos yung pangalan ng dish nyo. Ito yung so, second, ano, chef, no? Second, second uh, seat work. Exam. Second work, okay. Uh, yung una, yung cholesterol. Okay. Yung pangalawa, ito. Yung pangatlo, yun na yung mamaya. Okay? Okay, thank you, chef. Thank you. So, example of combination of grain and legume, peanut butter sandwich, rice and beans, vegetable stir-fry and rice, chili and wheat bread, tortilla and beans, pea soup and roll. Example of grains and nuts, rice cake with peanut butter, roll with sesame seeds, banana nut bread, oat nut bread. Example of legumes and nuts, chickpea hummus, trail mix, ito yung iba-ibang beans at saka nuts, bean soup and sesame seeds. Huwag na tong grains and dairy. Okay? Yes, Chef. Chef, can I ask yes. for the kwan? Can I take a picture yung ginawa mo late na ano, na menu? Yan. Yung kanina, Chef, yung yung ginawa mo, ano? O, oh, papay, nabuka ko na yun. Teka, ha? <laughs> Ayan. Nag-CR kasi ako, Chef. Okay na? Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Okay, now we go to the micro nutrients of minerals. Maraming minerals sa katawan natin. Example, iron sa dugo, ang um, um, calcium sa sa buto, ang fluorine sa nipen. Uh, maraming important functions ng minerals sa katawan natin. Unang-una class sa metabolism, mahalaga sila. Tapos sila ay isang component ng enzymes natin na nagpapabilis ng mga chemical reactions sa katawan. And they also regulate the function of, the, of our tissues, our muscles, and our organs. So they are very, very important. Mahalaga sila. Maraming minerals ang nakikita sa katawan. Among them are calcium and phosphorus in your bones and teeth, potassium in your water, body fluids, marami yan. Iron in your blood, but you don't have to memorize them. There's no problem. Okay. The last micronutrient are your vit vitamins, and there are two groups of vitamins. We have the fat-soluble adek. Ito ay nakatago sa fat ng katawan natin. At ang water-soluble na vitamin B complex and C na hindi natatago sa katawan pag umihi ka, kung ano man yung excess, ilalabas mo. Because they're water-soluble. Okay. Like minerals, class, vitamins do not give us energy. Tatlo lang ang pinanggagalingan ng energy and these are carbohydrates, protein, and fat. So, hindi ka lalakas kung iinom ka ng vitamins. But the vitamins help speed up energy production coming from carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Hindi nakakagawa ng vitamins ang katawan natin. The only way you can get them to your body is by eating them from sources of food. Except vitamin D class. Vitamin D and niacin are vitamins that you can get from sunlight. Pag natamaan ng sunlight ang skin mo, yung color ng skin mo, which is melanin, it is converted into vitamin D. Kaya kapag naaarawan ka, wag lang naman yung gitna ng day, you also get, get or receive vitamin D. Okay? Now, the first group of vitamins are the fat-soluble. They have precursors or provitamins. Example, a precursor of vitamin A is carotenoid. Ibig sabihin nun, pag hindi mo pa siya kinain, like carrots are good sources of carotenoids. Carrots do not contain vitamin A, but they contain carotenoids. Pag kinain mo yung carrots, the carotenoids in the carrots are converted to vitamin A. Kaya sinasabi na rin natin that carrots are good sources of vitamin A. 
Pero kailangan ma-convert pa sa katawan yan. Okay? At <coughs> because they can be stored in the body, in your fat, pag hindi ka kumain bukas ng fat-soluble vitamins, hindi ka makakaroon ng deficiency kasi meron ka nakatago sa fat mo at pwedeng gamitin yon. So you don't have to eat adek every day. And one more thing, hindi madaling mamatay ang fat-soluble vitamins sa mga ordinary cooking conditions. Compared to vitamin B complex and vitamin C, water-soluble yan. Sumasama sa ihe, sumasama sa pawis. <coughs> so whatever extra you have today, ilalabas mo lahat sa ihi yan. So kain ka ng kain every day. They don't have precursors like ADEC and deficiency uh, develops fast. Okay. Now we go to the effect of cooking on nutrients. Class, we have a question here. How are fruits and vegetables compromised by cooking and by how much? <coughs> Basically, when you cook vegetables or fruits, you lose anywhere from 30 to 50% of their initial nutrients and minerals and 100% of enzymes are damaged. I always make a comparison. between raw versus cooked, okay? Raw, raw fruits and vegetables contain, okay? okay? They contain 100% nutrients. Niluto mo na yan. Nang kahit mabilis lang, you lose anywhere between 30 to 50 percent. Or loss. Okay. It contains 100 percent fibers. Pag niluto mo class, you also lose between 30 to 50 percent. are lost. And they contain 100% enzymes. Niluto mo, 100% are lost. Pero okay lang class if you lose 100% kasi ang katawan naman natin ay nagpo-produce ng, ng enzymes. Kaya walang problema. Hindi mo naman kasi pwedeng kung minsan you have to cook the vegetable, huwag lang masyadong matagal. Okay? So the longer you cook your, your vegetables and fruits, the more nutrients are lost. Yan yung raw versus cook. Tapos last, meron din tayong tinatawag na enemies of cooking. Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, enemies of nutrients. During cooking. Okay, number one, kalaban ng sustansya ang high heat. <clears throat> ano pa yan? The higher the temperature more nutrients are destroyed. Number two, long cooking time. The longer the cooking time, more nutrients are destroyed. Number three, Large amount of water. 
Okay. So itong tatlong to, kapag na-expose ang food sa high heat, long cooking time, tsaka large amount of water, chances are mas maraming sustansya ang namamatay. Kaya ang pwede mong gawin, high heat plus short cooking time. Tapas ang temperature pero maikli lang ang luto. Or low heat plus long cooking time. Like simmering. Mas healthy to, healthier. Excuse us, Chef. Yes, yes. Uh, ano lang, Chef, clarification. Uh, so, kana rugar ng mga sinabaw rugar, Chef? Wala na rugar na nutrients, Chef, kanang mga sinabaw nga, like, kanang magsabaw o fish, tapos with vegetables. So, wala hmm. na na nutrients. Hindi. Kasi, yung fish mo, yung sabaw niya, kinakain mo, di ba? Uh, so, ang nutrients, Chef, makuha, yapon sa sabaw. Oo. Pero, ang isda, di ba, hindi naman matagal ang luto. Oh, Kasi, okay. So, ibig sabihin, pag niluto mo yung isda, kahit mataas man ang temperature mo, mabilis mo naman niluluto. May ma mas marami kang nutrients na titira. Tapos, kung ano mang water-soluble ang nagpunta sa water, kinakain mo naman yun. Oh, okay. Lagi ka, ka, like sa akong mga anak, chef, ba? Di mag-eats niya sila mga onog ka ng utan. So, akong ginabuhat, gasabaw lang, pero maminti. Okay lang yun, sabaw. Okay lang. Okay. okay. Oo. Thank naawatan ti basit. Naawatan ti basit. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, ano ba yun? Naintindihan ko konti lang. Ah, o, yung ano siya ba? Kamay. Kamay. Ilumpaan ko ba kayo, Chess? Hindi. Naghalo-halo na yung language ko. Marami ako adi, alam na yung language. Adi kay kakasabot bisaya, siya. Hindi ako makasagot kasi kamay lang alam ko. Ah okay sige yun kasi chef eh, hindi ko yung mga anak kasi yung mga anak ko kasi hindi ko makain ng ano vegetables so hmm. ginagawa ko nag ano na lang like tinulang isda which with, with oh, ano, okay lang yun okay, okay lang, lang yun mm -hmm. puro puro sa baho lang mm -hmm. ah, mas okay. matagal mong mas matagal mong niluluto ano man nagpapalambot ka ng karne yes chef chef eh matagal yun oo uh -huh. okay lang yun matagal pero yung heat mo ibababa mo Ah, okay, Chef. Yes, yeah. Hindi pwede. Ang taas ang heat mo, tapos ang tagal mo pinakukuloan. Ah, okay. Yung bad. Okay, so kung high heat ka, mabilis lang ang cooking time mo. Pag okay. low heat ka, mabagal lang. Matagal ang cooking time mo. Pwede yon, Pwede yon, Mas ideal so, yun. They can get pa rin nutrients from the soup. Of course. Alone. Ah, okay, yes, thank yes. you, Chef. Thank you, thank okay. you. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ka, ang pagkain ay... Mas mataas ang temperature, tapos mas matagal, more vitamins break down progressively more and more the longer it cooks. So the, the thing is, the shorter the cooking time, the better. But not for everything. Okay, not for, and don't put in too much water. Okay. Ito ang mga bad cooking methods. Okay? Gaya ng deep frying. Ang deep frying ay hindi masyadong healthy kasi high heat. Kaya para maging healthy ang deep frying, di ba nag-paper uh, cook tayo? Limbawa, lechong kawali, pinakukuloan natin sa tubig. Para pag pinry mo siya, high heat yan, mabilis mo lang siya lulutuin kasi palulutungin mo lang yung labas dahil yung loob luto na. So magiging mas healthy yon. O crispy pata, ganun din ang ginagawa natin. High heat, pero faster ang cooking time. Okay, baking and roasting are also not very healthy kasi pag nag-bake ka ng chicken, nag-roast ka ng lechon, high heat, tapos long cooking time. Kaya hindi sila healthy. Ang boiling naman kasi high heat, tapos madaming water. Kasi hindi yan boiling pag hindi madami ang water. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Ano naman ang mga good cooking methods natin? So, ang good cooking methods natin ay microwave kasi ang microwave mabilis. Walang masyadong water. Steaming kasi hindi nagtatouch ang food sa water. Tapos mabilis lang. Stir frying. Mataas man ang temperature. Mabilis ka lang nagluluto. 
So, high heat, pero short cooking point. Okay, so ito yung healthy methods natin. Steaming, no direct heat, retains nutrients, adds flavor. Grilling, mabilis din. Mataas ang temperature ng grilling, pero mabilis lang. Kasi kung hindi, masusunog. Microwave, mabilis. Stir frying, mataas ang temperature, pero mabilis. Ang poaching class, mababa ang temperature. But of course, the healthiest of them all is no cooking. Okay, copy this. Lalabas to sa test. These are the water-soluble vitamins na sumasama sa water pagka niluto mo siya sa water. Kaya ang fat-soluble, maganda niluluto sa oil. So we have thiamine, niacin, biotin, folate, and vitamin B6, B12, and vitamin C. Tinatanong ko to usually sa parang enumeration type kapag ka oral exam. Tapos, ang vitamins na madaling masira ng heat are thiamine, pantothenic acid, folate, and vitamin C. Tandaan nyo ha, tatanong ko yan sa multiple choice. Ah, enumeration pala. Enumeration. Papabot ng isang tissue. Nagtaroon ng ano yung book. Ha? Huwag ko ba kung ano yun? Nakunan nyo na ng picture? Okay, the four fat-soluble vitamins are stable in water because they're fat-soluble. Ibig sabihin, sumasama sila sa oil. These are ADEC. And the vitamins that are stable under heat are riboflavin, niacin, vitamins D, K, E, and B12. Okay. Reservation tips. Plus, pag bibili kayo ng fruits, bibili kayo ng vegetables, kung maaari, huwag nyo na patatagalin sa fridge o sa ibabaw kasi the longer they are exposed, the more nutrients are lost. Eat your fruits and vegetables raw whenever possible kung kayang kainin ng hilaw. Pero kung hindi kaya kainin ng hilaw, kung lulutuin nyo man, huwag masyado matagal. Tanggalin nyo yung ugali na nagbababad ng pagkain sa tubig kaya ng patatas because the nutrients leach out and go into the water. Okay? And if possible, you cook food using the shortest um, time possible. Okay. Pagka, yun, yung talong sa akin kanina tungkol sa sabaw ng gulay. Okay lang kung kakainin yung gulay, kaya kung hindi nyo kakainin, huwag nyo siyang pakuluan sa masyadong maraming tubig. Okay? Or kung pwede, gamitin nyo yung pinagpakuluan as a soup or a sauce or you can add it to gravy. Okay, the ways in order to preserve nutrients. Number one, ganyan na sinabi ko kanina, shortest time possible ang cooking at saka low heat. Number two, tatakpan nyo ang, ang kaldero to, 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 to prevent your nutrients from escaping in the form of steam. Number three, kung pwedeng ang gulay kagaya ng patatas o ng kamote may balat, napaprotektahan ng balat yung pag-leach ng vitamins and minerals into the water. Kung pwede, kainin pati balat. Yung mga pinakain natin kagaya ng balat ng okra, balat ng talong, kamatis. If you can eat the peel or the skin, you eat them. Okay? Tapos kung gulay, lutuin mo siya near the time that you are going to eat them. Kasi meron tayong tinatawag na carryover. Na further niluluto ang pagkain mo, hindi na crunchy, tapos maraming nutrients ang nawawala. Okay? Tapos yung, yung water na leftover mo sa gulay mo, kung may gusto as soup, gravy or sauce. Okay, tapos wag masyadong maliliit ang hiwa ng gulay kasi mas maraming nutrients ang nasisira kapag ka, lalo na kung sa tubig mo siya lulutuin. Okay, ang mga karne, manok, isda, meron din silang nutrients na namamatay 
kapag masyado nating niluto ng matagal. Kaya nga, um, eh mo ko kung nakapag-serve safe na kayo, sa serve safe, tinuturo ko ang proper and correct cooking temperature. Using the thermometer, mati-check mo kung luto na yung pagkain. Ayaw natin na undercook kasi natatakot tayo ng contamination ng bacteria. Pero ayaw din natin na overcook kasi maraming nutrients ang namamatay. Kaya a thermometer is important when you are checking the doneness of food. Okay, kamahalaga to, class. Ha? Nilalagay natin ang asin sa niluluto natin kapag ka malapit ng maluto ang pagkain. Unang-una, from a culinarian's point of view, nagbabago pa ang tubig na niluluto mo, kaya chances are maglalas, magbabago din yung lasa. Pero from nutrition point of view, nilalagay natin ang asin sa huli kasi kapag maaga mo nilagay ang asin, yung apat na sustansya na nasa gulay mo, pupunta sa tubig. Tapos pag kumulo ang tubig mo at nag-evaporate, sasama siya sa steam going up into the air. And what are these four nutrients? You have protein, sodium, potassium, and calcium. So we do not add salt early during cooking. As there are leaching, possibilities of leaching uh, of nutrients into the water. And these nutrients are protein, sodium, potassium, and calcium. Parang hindi ko itong tinatanong sa oral exam. Okay, binanggit ko na ito kanina. Pag magluluto tayo ng gulay na may balat, mas maganda na tingin natin na may balat like potatoes and kamote and carrots dahil napoprotect nila yung nutrients inside the vegetable from leaching out into the water. Okay, ganun din. Plus, we don't cut the vegetables too small tapos i-expose natin sa air because the vitamin C content of your cut vegetables exposed to the air can result to the loss of vitamin C. Okay, ganun din ang kanin. Uh, wag tayong masyadong maraming hugas sa kanin. First washing, you already lose 40% of thiamine and nicotinic acid. So if you wash it twice, you lose 80%. Sa kapag maghuhugas ng bigas, konting water lang kailangan. Ganun din yung mga ibang nanay kapag may baby. Kapag ka nagsahin, dadamin yung water. Tapos kukunin yung kulo. Nagay sa bottle ng bata. Yung tinatawag na am. Now, most of the nutrients of the rice go to the am. Tapos wala nang halos na iiwan na nutrients dun sa kanin na kakain nyo ng matatanda. So, it's advisable that you prepare um, separately from the rice being prepared for the adults. Okay? Um, yung sinigang class, although hindi nagiging maganda yung kulay ng gulay kasi pag nilagyan mo na sa palo, namumutla. But this acid that you put into your sinigang somehow protects the vitamin A and the vitamin B content of the vegetables. Okay, ganun din. Sinabi ko natin kanina. Ah, kapag nagluluto ka, make sure na nakatakip. Kaya uso na ngayon yung mga kaldero na ang takip ay glass. Para nasisilip mo sila. What's happening inside? Because frequent opening of the of your pan will result to evaporation of nutrient. Okay, ang mantika na ginamit mo sa high heat isang beses mo lang, pwedeng gamitin. You cannot use oil repeatedly over and over again at high heat because um, it lowers the smoking point of the oil and it leads to the production of trans fat or harm harmful fat that can cause cancer. Okay, ganun din ang protein. Hindi natin pwedeng masyadong pinapakulo ang matagal ang mga protein natin kasi nakocompromise ang amino acid lalong lalo na ang gatas. In culinary, you will learn that you do not boil milk and cream kasi nagiging kurtado. Okay? 
But in principle, the protein quality of your milk is reduced when you boil it. Okay. These are the three advantages of cooking. Actually, there are four. Pag niluto mo ang pagkain, nagbabago ang itsura at sumasarap. Number two, pag niluto mo ang pagkain, namamatay ang harmful microorganisms. Number three, kapag niluto mo ang pagkain, nagiging mas natutunaw ng katawan ang starch, which is improved. At higit sa lahat, ang quality ng protein na nasa itlog, nasa legumes, nagi improve kapag niluto. Kaya hindi totoo na mas masustansya ang itlog na luto. Ha, nahilaw kaysa sa luto. Actually, they're just the same. Mas tumataas pa ang percent ng digestible protein ng cooked egg kaysa sa luto. Are there questions? No questions? Okay, I'll give you a 10 minute break because it's computation na yung kasunod. Ito na yan. So, if you prepare nyo, ito page 4 lang ang kailangan. Magko-compute tayo, ha? Okay. Ten minutes, magbanyo na kayo. Pagbalik natin, computation na tayo. Okay? Para you have the rest of the day to do your three sit works. Actually, exams yun. Yung cholesterol, yung incomplete protein combination, at saka itong, ito pinakamatagal eh, calorie computation. Okay? Ten minutes, class. Okay? Last. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Yes.